Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a deck unboxing and review of the Honeycomb Saturn Playing Cards by Frankie Morales. Let's have a look. So first we open the cellophane. Alright. So this is what the box looks like right after removing the cellophane. Alright, it has a circular gold foil design over at the bottom, at the bottom left corner. And on, this, on the top, there's nothing much. On the side, it says Honeycomb, Saturn Playing Cards. And on the other side, it says Produced and Distributed by Avant, which I assume is the producer or, or the printer, I'm not sure. And on the bottom, it has the signature of Frankie Umbrellas. Alright, open on the flaps. There are some stars because well the text name is Saturn so I assume it has to do with space and stuff like that so we remove the cards and on the inside it's just white all right so let's have a look at the cards so this is what the back design looks like it has a sort of orange light orange or tangerine color all right it has the two circular objects which I assume is Saturn and it has a grey color lining on the sides which adds on to the border which is pretty much the first time I've, I've ever seen these kind of borders anywhere alright so let's see what you get with the deck so we have two blank cards and two jokers Alright, the jokers are completely identical, they have some stars at the corner of the card, at the corners and yeah, it has a orange slash yellow light orange circle in the middle. Alright, so let's have a look at the cards. So you get the ace of spades that looks like this. The ace of spades is the spade in the center is like an orange color, which is the same color as the back design. All right, and it says Avant at the bottom, right there. I do not know who Avant is or what Avant is, so if you do know, please leave a comment in the comment section below. All right, so let's have a look at all the spades. So you've seen the ace of spades. Now for the other cards. The number cards are pretty standard, but the court cards are a little bit different. They have a different coloring to them. They have a standard look, but they have a sort of orange color, the same color as the back design. Alright? And the diamonds, which are not red, but orange. Pretty standard except for the coloring and the card cards. Alright. And the clubs. The ice of clubs has a standard look. The number cards. And the card cards. Which look pretty much like any standard card card except they have, have a different coloring to them and last but not least the hearts which are also orange in color all right cool let's have a look at the handling so right out of the box This is how the, the deck bends. Alright. Because of the grey lining, I, I presume it, it gives it a better look for the fan. But I'm not sure. Let's try that one more time. Alright, so this is what the fan looks like right out of the box. 
Let's try giving them a spread. They seem to spread all right. Let's try that one more time. All right. One last time. Cool. Let's try spring. Right, the, the spring feels really good. I presume it's because of the stock of the cards that are a little bit thin. Yeah, they have a slightly thinner stock. I do not know what the finish and the stock are for these cards, but I'm assuming they're bicycle stock. Alright? Try the spring one more time. Alright, let's try the Drifo Shuffle. Let's do that one more time. Cool. Seems to dribble alright. Try giving it a few cuts. They feel rather light. Perhaps it's because it's still new and it hasn't gathered any moisture from you know from practice and stuff. Right. Let's try some flourishes. I'm giving it a table shuffle. Alright, so I'm not sure if we can use this deck or whether it's recommendable to use this deck for magic because of the color of the cards that have a different coloring, like a yellow coloring to them. Alright, but they can definitely be used for flourishes and, and things like that. Alright, let's try giving the deck a Pharaoh Shuffle. So this is what the Pharaoh Shuffle looks like. It is not a perfect Pharaoh, but it is a decent Pharaoh. Let's try that one more time. And this time we'll end with a giant fan. Alright, so this is what the giant fan looks like in this deck. Alright. So I'm not sure if we can try them for magic, let's go ahead and try some double lifts and stuff like that. It feels alright. So this deck is the second version of the series in the Saturn playing cards. Um, the first one being the Red October deck of cards. Alright, Red October Saturn playing cards. The difference would be in the design of the back, in which the first one the borders are a little bit thick and the color is red. Alright, in the new one the color is orange and it has even thicker borders but a grey lining at the edge that goes along the edge. I don't know if that fixes the problem but we'll try it out. And also the color of the indexes. The red cards on the new deck are all orange and the red cards on the previous deck are all red. That's about it. Alright. I have made a review for the Red October playing cards. I'll leave a link in the description below. Please check it out. So that's about it for the Honeycomb Saturn playing cards by Frankie Morales. These cards have an overall nice handling. They're thin. So they're good for flourishes and um, you can use them for magic if you want to but you will have to like um, inform your spectators that the red cards are all you know orange 
All right, or else they will suspect that this that this deck is rigged or somewhat. So yeah, that's about it for the review. Please like and share if you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment in the comment section below on how I can improve on my videos and some decks you would like me to review. So that's about it. Have a good day, folks, and thanks for watching.